Hi everyone, this is Amy from mommy-mentor.com and disneymentor.com. You can find me on Twitter as well, at mommymentor. Today I wanted to share one of my loves, which is my handbags with you, um, and I wanted to share one of my Louis Vuittons. This is my Rivington GM in the Damier Ebony. I have had this bag for oh, just about 10 months, I think. Um, it's actually the first Louis that I purchased in the Damier Ebony. Here, I'll lower this down for you guys so you can see a little bit closer. Um, and it's actually one of my favorites. Um, I really love the dark colors. It almost, it goes black, it goes brown. Um, I also like that regardless of weather, regardless of the environment I'm in, I know that it's going to hold up. Um, it's, I don't know in fact if it's waterproof, but everything that I read before purchasing it was that you could take it out in the elements without it showing the wear. Obviously, um, it has the darker straps which help with that as well. I have um, a Louis in the regular monogram and the straps are lighter and so if I would take that one out in the rain it would show the marks on it. So I do love that this one I can take out and I don't have to worry about um, those things. So I'll give you a little view of the bag on the outside. Um, it has more of a Boston bag sort of style to it and shape. As it comes up it has a little bit of an A-line and tapering at the top. And the straps are a really great length. Um, I can toss this on and off my shoulder without any issues and I don't have to, I can do it all one-handed. I love the detailing on the side. It's one of the um, features that drew me to this bag. I love the little cinching here, real classic and elegant look. Um, but yet the Damier Ebony, uh, for me, just works. I can dress it up or dress it down. Um, the reverse side is the exact same as the front. And then same for the other side as well. Um, the Rivington GM does have two zippers that you can bring up to close. I actually carry my Rivington GM um, unzipped most of the time because the style is such that it keeps the closure together. Um, I never have to worry about anything falling out when I do this, um, but it also makes it easy for me to get in and out of. Um, so, when you first get the Rivington GM, as with um, most of the Louis bags that I've owned, you do need to kind of take time for it to soften up, and so in the beginning, you know, this wasn't as softened, and so it took a little bit of um, opening just to kind of get it to open, but now it's all broken in and knows my shape and knows how I dig in it, so I can get into it and out of it very, very easily. I also wanted to show you how I can get the Rivington GM in this Damier Ebony here on and off the shoulder one-handed. It's a great drop length. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the measurement. I'm five foot seven, um, size four to six, and it goes on and off, and I, my elbow passes through, which that's one of my key features in a handbag, is that I like to not have to worry about dealing with um, the other hand to get it off, especially with children. It makes for easy on and off. Um, I can also open it one-handed, and then I can dig in it, get what I need, grab my wallet in and out, and then cinch that second shoulder strap right back up for ease of carry. I also wanted to show you what I carry inside my Rivington GM. I'm able to fit um, everything I need to. I would actually consider the Rivington GM kind of a medium-sized handbag that allows for flex for me to add some items for my children or, you know, larger outings out if I need to. Um, as you can see, I have a wallet. I carry my um, Belen Ishandia phone holder. That is actually where I stuff all my business cards. Works for works for me. Um, and then I have my pochette. I carry my compact and makeup and then a snack bar. And then I am able to fit in my mints and my phone keys and my sunglasses as well. Um, and this allows for plenty of room. Honestly, this covers probably the bottom one-third of the bag in which I like because then I have room on top to stuff a small sweatshirt in for myself or a wrap. I can also stuff items in for my children. Um, and so I'll just give you a quick peek on the inside of the Rivington GM. Um, it's got the nice red interior and it has along the side panel here 
it has a pocket that is detached, which I really like um, because it goes down quite far. And as you can see, my entire hand fits down in there. And that fits my cell phone and my gum and my keys and a lipstick and um, then additional items like parking tickets, subway cards, so on and so forth. So all in all, I'll take a quick minute here and I'll toss things back in so you can see how they fit and that I can put all this back in there and still have plenty of room for additional items. Okay, so now filled with what I carry on a daily basis. Um, that's how it looks. You can see along the side there that I still have plenty of room left on top. Um, I do think that the Rivington GM... So thanks for GM joining me today to walk through my Louis Vuitton Rivington GM and the Damier Ebony. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment. I try very hard to get back to those as quickly as possible. Um, and as always, find me at mommy-mentor.com, dizzymentor.com, and on Twitter at mommymentor. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.